I got somebody here today that might know a thing or two about singing. I'd like you guys to welcome a friend of mine here, uh, Mr. Jelly Roll. <laughs> Grab that guitar, let's sing something first. What do you say, you wanna hear Save Me? Yes, sir. Come sing it with me then, Big Dom. Jelly Roll D. Ford. I grew up in Antioch, Tennessee. It's kind of right south of Nashville. I was born here my whole life. Uh, when the Titans came here in the late 90s, my father took me down to Memphis because that's where the first season was. We watched the opening game. I think it was against the Oakland Raiders, and it was 140 degrees. It was miserable. I was still fat then, so it sucked really bad. <laughs> and uh, I'll never forget it because it was something for this city. At this time, this city was smaller than Columbus, Ohio. So as a point of perspective, this was a really small town. So for us to have something, so this was a really, really big deal for the locals. And it was such a big deal, it was kind of like CMA Fest. All my family that were bartenders, if y'all couldn't tell, I, I, I grew up with the opposite of something. I think a lot of y'all relate to that. You know what the opposite of something is, don't you? Right? But uh, all of our family were bartenders. So as soon as the Titans came, boy, we knew that Sunday was a money day. And I want y'all to think about that too when y'all go on that field Sunday, that y'all's impact is bigger than just on the field. It's happening all around this city. That the vibrations of this are touching people everywhere. That your impact in the city is bigger than just the 65,000 people that come to watch y'all every single week. There are people that are counting on this organization to continue to thrive because it's feeding us. It's feeding this town. I've been coming here ever since my father brought me. We had PSLs in the upper 300 sections the first season it came here. I watched the Music City Miracle from the Juvenile right across the street out the cell window. Never forget, I was cheering and nobody knew why. I had the only cell that could see the Jumbotron. And me and my cellmate, Josh Carter. And we were talking about it then, because I remember at the time, he said, you think you'll ever go to a football game? I said, I think they just offered me 40 years. I don't think I'll ever get to see one. God knows I did though, because later I got to walk in there with my daughter for the first time, just like my father walked in that same stadium with me. And I don't have a bunch of inspiring, I'm not a football guy, I don't know how to scream at y'all and make y'all fired up, but I can tell you that your purpose is so much bigger than on that field. That that is just a vessel that God is using to build your platform, that every little thing you're doing from the front row right here in Will and the OGs of this team all the way to the back and the new coaches is affecting this city. And a lot of people overlook this town because so many people come to this town to get famous that they forget that there's a lot of us that grew up in this town making sure that people could come to this town and get famous. A lot of this town was built off the backs of real hard-working people like myself. Now, luckily, I'm one of the people that turned around for me and it worked out. The short end of my story was I did everything I could to throw it away. I tried as hard as I could to my life completely off, in and out of prison, been shot, stabbed. I could, I could tell you a story that'll make a toilet tissue crap, but I'd rather tell you a story about how I'm finna do a 56 arena tour starting on Friday. <laughs> I know most of y'all don't know who I am, but I grew up here, and I'm a tried and true Titans fan. 
I'm one of the guys that I believe in this organization. I believe in what Callahan's doing. I believe in the changes happening around this office. I'm standing behind Rand. I believe in the faces of this company. And I'm also glad to see guys like Big Jeff Simmons and some of these OGs show the way too. Now I'm gonna tell y'all something else about how much of a Titan fan I am. Every arena and every city, they give me a football jersey. And I never wear <laughs> I never wear them. I just, I'm not doing them. I'm a Titan guy, they're trying and true. And I love y'all, man. And I also want to encourage y'all to reach out to the city. Uh, that juvenile that's right there next to y'all stadium, we run a program. D-Hop's been trying to come through forever. I would love to host a few of y'all to come and talk to the kids and spread a little love, man. We mean a lot to the city personally. Um, those kids need it, man. The, the Tennessee Titans Stadium and the juvenile have been connected the entire time the Titans Stadium has been here. And I want to be the first guy that actually brings them together uh, with Coach Callahan's help if that's possible. But I love y'all. I ain't going to talk your off. I know y'all been out there in that sun all day. I love y'all. Thanks for listening, man. I'm coming to a game, and I hope one of y'all come to a show. How you doing? Yes, sir. Give it up one more time for Jelly Roll, man.